let's talk about rentals. What should prospective owners be looking for when they're considering purchasing an investment property? Uh, well, the first thing that we see in the marketplace is a sales agent will often overquote the likely rental return, Nina, as a way of boosting the value of the property. So one thing that you should never do as an investor is ask the selling agent what the property is likely to rent for because that will quite often be an overinflated price as that will help the end value of the property. So how do you find out then? You should ask a property manager from another right. firm what that property is likely around. to lease for. That's mm. right. Uh, the other thing that investors should look for is that they should understand that the person selling the agent's rental services or property management services is often not the person that will be managing the property in-house. So the industry has gone to this uh, this uh, model, if you like, where there's a salesperson that sells the services and then there's a property manager that does all of the work behind the scenes. So you need to fully understand who will be managing your property once you sign up, not who's the person out there putting a shiny spin on the agent's services. Now, the other thing with uh, property management services is a cheap agent feels good when you're running your numbers when it comes to, to hiring a property manager. But if a property management department is under under sourced, uh, understaffed, if you like, huge problems and neglect will begin to creep in there. You'll see properties are neglected, rent increases won't happen. You'll get uh, uh, the property beginning to unravel, and 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 the property manager won't be communicating this to you because they simply don't have the resources to get round and offer proper service. So on the flip side, if you're a prospective tenant, what should you look for before signing a lease and going into a property? Uh, well, as a tenant, you should look for, as much as you're looking for a good property, you should be looking for a good agency so that if issues do come up, your rights are protected under the terms of the lease. The Department of Fair Trade do a lot of great work uh, in this area, but what I would say to tenants is that uh, you don't want just a good property, you want a good agent to lease from. How long do you reckon you should sign a lease for? Uh, look, that depends on what you think the, pro the, the rental market is going to do. So therefore, as a tenant, there might not be any need to sign a lengthy two-year lease. You might only sign a 12-month lease because you think you're going to get some bargaining power at the other end. The downside to signing a shorter lease and trying to ride the market down is that the landlord is then free to move you out at the end of the lease if they have other designs for that property.